This is Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich with Spokane County Sheriff's Office. There's been a lot of public debate about the COVID vaccine, pros and cons. I'll tell you that I am vaccinated. I took the vaccine simply because I did the research. I, I looked at the pros and cons. I felt safe taking the vaccine. Another reason, I was in the United States military. I took a lot of vaccines when they sent me overseas to serve this country. I took the COVID vaccine for many of those same reasons, so I could serve the community that I am responsible for and not get sick doing it. Now, I had COVID in January of this year. In March of this year, when the vaccine finally came out and I was eligible, I took the vaccine. With me, we have Dr. Velasquez, and he and I are going to talk a little bit about the safety of this vaccine and why we both have been vaccinated and why we really hope that you will take that the time to do your research and I hope you'll make the same decision. Doctor, give us some ideas of, you know, you hear all these, these stories about the, the safety of the vaccine. Myocarditis is one of those things that comes up all the time. Can you explain that particular side effect and the fact that you can get that same ailment by getting COVID. Sure, so vaccines are very safe and uh, myocarditis has been some temporal relationship to a vaccine, meaning some people that had the vaccine were also diagnosed with myocarditis. But myocarditis is very f uh, common. It happens uh, every year, typically younger people after infections and you're more likely to get it out of a regular infection or COVID than you're out of the vaccine. But because we're always very cautious, we did put a label that says be mindful of that in patients of the appropriate age range. What about the, the other things? You've heard all the discussions. You and I did podcasts just mm -hmm. recently on this. Kind of explain to folks why the vaccine is safe even though it went through such a short period of, of testing. Sure, and uh, the vaccine is safe. It went through the same process that all vaccines go through. The only reason why we were able to do it a little bit faster has to do with resources and the fact that we use technology that has been around since the 70s that allowed us to really expedite the vaccines. But the uh, of those vaccines is comparable to the safety of many other vaccines and actually the efficacy of the vaccines is much higher than most of the other vaccines that we currently have. With all that, this really comes down to personal choice. Can you maybe give uh, the folks that are going to listen to this an, an idea of where they can maybe find some of the, the research, some of the facts, so they can do that, that research and, and become more comfortable with the vaccine? Well, absolutely. I think having the um, appropriate information is important. You can go to the Spokane Regional Health District website. You can go to the CDC website. You can go to the FDA website. And you can frankly go to Pfizer, Moderna's, and Johnson Johnson websites, and everything is available as public information. Anyone can read it, and I know because I actually read all of it when vaccines were coming. You know, one of the things uh, a lot of people talk about are, well, it's not that bad. Uh, this, the COVID's not that bad. Some people have even taken it to the extreme of, well, it's not, this is all political. It's just, it, just political. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you, personal experience, this is not political. I almost lost a daughter due to COVID. She is what you call a long hauler. Uh, COVID really scarred her lungs. And as a father, it was really uncomfortable that night that they were debating if they were going to put her on a ventilator or not. I've watched many of my friends die due to COVID. And I have watched husband and wives that I knew very dearly, very close to me, die together within days apart from COVID. This is a real disease. These things are happening. Do your research, please. And I hope at the end, you will take and get the COVID vaccination to protect yourself and your family. Doctor, do you have anything that you'd like to say? 
No, vaccine is widely available. Please get your shot.